tonight, I am going to tackle or render my report about the strategies to handle criticism successfully. So, as future educators, I know it is a very wonderful topic tonight, right? Yes. Do you agree? Yes. Yes. So, tonight, I think we will learn lots of learning and knowledge because our topic for tonight is really, what do you call this one, huh? It's really interesting. Yeah. So, the topic is all about the strategies to handle criticism successfully. So, right there, do you have the idea on what is some strategies how to handle criticism successfully? Anyone? But I know it's my report, so I'll be the one to share my own knowledge. Hey, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yes. Well, the field of education continues to evolve into a plethora of complex, when we say plethora, overabundance, so an excess. So, uh, plethora of tasks and every of responsibilities. Do you agree? Yes. So, if, if, if we have overabundance of responsibilities, so it is very, it is very normal, yeah. It is very normal that we can, I uh, want to call this one, the criticism yeah, that we have, that we will, what do you call this one? That we, that we can get, yes, thank you. So, as a result, we will all experience an increase in criticism, right? Yes. So, data is what everyone is looking at, and this creates an open door policy to our supervisors and higher apps to evaluate our practices and overall performance. Are you following? Yes. Okay. Yes, Paunil? Where are you going? Please continue, if you don't mind. Side trip. I have my house rules. Please. Yes, please um, stay put, have huh? yeah. Okay, can I give you a compliment? A distract, okay. Well, I realize, excuse me, listen. I realize that the process can seem intrusive and can appear as micromanagement. Do you agree? Yes. Really? Yes. I hope so. When you say micromanagement, from the word micro, it's a little. So, micromanagement in the form or in the in the circle of uh, in the certain in the cer a certain place. Yes. So, well, but in some cases, this is the case. This is the case. However, there is a positive twist to handling this new era of accountability growth. Are you listening? Yes. Okay. But the bottom line is that if we handle criticism properly, we will grow. And the people criticizing our work will also be impacted positively by our responses to their criticism. Yes. Right? Yes. yes. So, if handled properly, those criticizing our practices and what do you call this one? Practices uh, will help us uh, and data, practices and data will respect us highly and may find themselves coming to us for assistance or advice. Do you agree? Yes. No. Why? But before that, let me finish my report. So, how is, it, how is this possible? How is this possible? Well, maybe an overaching question for those of us who are prone to breakdowns when our hard work is evaluated or criticized, right? Yes, Paul. No, I don't have about the report. Please continue. Well, it is possible, and I will provide you with a few strategies to handle criticism more effectively. Well, these strategies transcend professions and have worked for me time and time again. So let's have the first step. A few strategies how to handle criticism successfully. The first step.
be open and available to criticism. Do you have the idea? Excuse me, do you have the idea? Yes. 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 This might be the hardest strategy for many people. Want to know why? Because our culture has somehow demonized it. Do you agree? Yes. So what do we tell you who found the demonized? Oh, demonized. So meaning it is used. It is used. It has been used improperly. So why is this? Anybody? Excuse me. Excuse me. In what way? In what way? When you criticize, you know, what is in a, in a, in a, not in a proper place, sorry. Why is this? Criticism has been used improperly, right? One should walk away from criticism with a useful information. Are you following? Yes. yes. One should walk away from criticism with useful information. That will, what? That will motivate, that will enhance, that will inspire, not devalue, not depress, or not depress, or discourage. Are you listening? Yes. 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 Sure. So, I know it is very normal that we can get criticism as teacher educators. Do you agree? Yes. yes. Okay, let's proceed to the next step. Next one is develop a healthy view of criticism immediately. Develop a healthy view of criticism immediately. If you look up the word criticism in the dictionary, you will find what do you call this one? You will find lots of lots of or no a variety of action words that help us to understand the purpose of criticism. Do you agree? Yes. yes. Evaluate, analyze, categorize, and assess are all words that that describe or help us are all words that describe the critical process. Well, as future teachers, we pride ourselves. As a matter of fact, we pride ourselves when we move our students to be critical thinkers, right? Yes. Yes. So develop critical thinking or critical thinkers. Yes. 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 <laughs> hey. So, but anyway, I uh, know that's one of the ultimate goal of every teachers. Do you agree that develop critical thinkers, develop critical thinking? Yes. 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 Okay. Hey. Criticism in its purest form is simply a process of logic that enables us to examine the facts, to use those facts to improve. Then, well, criticism is not bad. It can help us to give the need, oh, no, it can help us or give us the needed information that we need. Yes? Yes. Okay. Let's proceed. The third step is control emotional responses. I heard some murmurs. Control emotional responses. Yes. Right? Yes, even when there are murmurs. Yes. <laughs> God gave us emotions for a reason. Well, Emotions should complement who we are, not define us. Take a step, or no, take a step back and examine the, those facts or information or data for what it is information. Then master this skill and your stress will decrease. Do you agree with that? That master this skill and your stress will be decre uh, will decrease significantly and you will be respected as a professional. Yes, it could be. Yes, it could be. So I know there are there are people who's very sens sensitive, right? Yes, yes. So develop a thick skin. When you say thick skin, 
not easily offended. So let's proceed. Be conscious that there are different types of criticism. Do you agree that there are type or there are different types of criticism? Yes. 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 Yeah, true. Well, we must be conscious that there that not that not all criticism is of equal value, right? Typically, attendance trends and uh, or assessment results are cons are considered objective and reliable. Why is this? When we say when we say attendance trends, so meaning that people attendance trends and our assessment results are considered objective and reliable. This type of data is very difficult to handle or very difficult to dispute. However, opinions and suggestions or recommendations are a little different. You will need to determine whether the feedback is given to enhance your performance or attack your character regardless for for what are those or what are those criticism that you will get? Are you following? Yes. yes sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Let's proceed to the next step. Always focus on the information or data. Always focus on the information or data. Do you have the idea? It doesn't matter who delivered who delivered those negative thoughts. Well, uh, what do you call this one? It doesn't matter who delivered the information or those negative 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 facts or where, where it came from. Personal issues or personality conflicts can create more drama. Do you agree? Yes. So let's focus on what's the real information or what's the real background before or before you conclude that is right or wrong then focus on the facts information never the person do you agree with that phrase now never the person don't mind the person so let's let's keep it simple focus on what's matter most the information or data excuse me classmates are you listening? Yes. It seems that you're asleep. Really? Don't Oh, thank you. We're just making last questions after you report. Okay. <laughs> Maintain a reflective mindset. Reflective mindset. In order to handle any form of criticism, one must make or one must make a commitment to be reflective. Do you agree with that? Yes. Yes? Yes. yes. So, this is an internal exercise rather than external one. Use the following questions. So, I have here some questions. So, you will, uh, you can meditate or you will have, or you will, what do you call this one, focus to these questions. Use the following questions to help you sort or no, sort through the various criticism that will surely come your way. So if it's very normal, as future educators, we can get lots of criticism. It's either positive or negative, right? So there are more, but but this we will get us going or will you will get you going. First, how can I use this information to advance to advance my career? Through that question. So we can reflect or we can maintain a reflective mindset. Yes? Yes. Now, how can I use this information to advance my career? Next, will this information be helpful? Be helpful in improving my practices or skills. Next, is this data or information reliable? If so, what can I do to improve it? Next, do I need additional resources or support to use this information or data effectively? So through that questions, will you will uh, you can reflect or you will maintain a reflective mindset or what they call this one. You can think deeply or you can reflect or meditate 
or kung ganang, through your through your own opinions or ideas. So we must maintain our reflective mindset. If we have, or if we can get positive or positive or negative criticism, do you agree? Yes. Yes. Okay. The last. So the last. I have or I have here seven strategies because as what, I, as what I have said earlier, I will provide you with a few strategies. So last, decide to act. Decide to act. In that, uh, in that strategies, do you really have that idea on what about this one? How will you decide in your own part or in your, in your own side if you will get positive, it's either positive or negative criticism or positive thoughts to those people who keep on criticizing negative. So the reason, the reason feedback is given to you in the first place. Why is this? It's, it's because to move you to action. But take note, take the higher road and reflect on the feedback or data and make a conscious decision. Do you agree with that? Make a conscious decision, conscious decision to, use it for your, to use it for your own good. Live into it. Then don't run from it. Move forward, never backwards. Yes? yes. So in these last strategies, we have the idea or we have the knowledge or the learnings. How, will, how are we going to, what do you call this one? How are we going to, what do you call this one? Um, how are you going to, to share your, to share your, your positive criticism or your negative criticism or your negative or positive thoughts? Then we must be conscious in a sense that will make, that will make us in your own good or that can make in your, um, that can make in your, uh, that, you, that you will use in your own good. Sorry. Well, I am very confident that others will have more to say about this matter. Really? I really know. Do you agree that there are people yung, 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 will have more to say about this strategy is how to handle criticism? Well, but the, the bottom line is that it's to maintain a positive attitude about criticism. In its clearest form, it is intended to build and to enhance, as what I have said earlier. It is a one should walk away with criticism with useful information to enhance, to motivate, to inspire, not to devalue, not to depress or discourage. Right? Yes. So, I know, uh, we know we are in a tough career and a competitive world. Right? Sorry. Then, we are in a tough and competitive career. Use what you have to grow, and then develop and become a better educator. As future educators, it is very ind indispensable that we will that we will motivate ourselves, we will encourage ourselves, that uh, we will encourage ourselves to to develop and become a uh, develop and become a, be a better educator, and to develop our students to be critical thinkers. Do you agree with that? Okay. So after all, your students and your staff will be watching you through when you when we are when we are in the field of of our this one the field of education or in the field of walk with pride and make a commitment to be a lifelong learner, and this requires criticism. Do you agree? So, it's, uh, as what I said, it's very normal, it's very inevitable that we will, be, we will get more uh, negative criticisms by the surroundings or by the ambience. Yeah, by the ambience, so I say, what do you mean by ambience? The surroundings, the atmosphere. Okay. Oh, yes. So, well, excuse me. I have in my mind, uh, I had in my mind a uh, principle. I have I have lived or I live by the principle penned by Albert Howard. Do you know who, who is Albert Howard? No. no. 
he said that the final proof of greatness lies in being able to endure criticism without res resentment. Do you have the idea or do you have the knowledge? Again, the final proof of greatness lies in being able to endure criticism without resentment. So, we don't care. I know, or it is very inevitable that we will get positive or, either positive or negative comments or criticism. But through that phrase or through that saying, we will not be uh, what do you call it? Easily, of, easily offended. We must. We should develop a thick skin, not easily offended. So, because in this control emotional responses, these strategies can help us someday, right? So I have here also teaching is the greatest. Excuse me. Teaching is the greatest career on the planet, and we must do everything possible to provide the necessary support to them all globally. Do you agree with that? Yes. So. As future educators, it is really, really important that we will know or we will know how to handle criticism more effectively, how to handle criticism successfully, so that if we will get if we will get positive comments, positive vi or negative vibes, we are we will oh, let's this one. We cannot uh, we can easily offended. That's a term. So we must develop a thick skin. Then, but the bottom line is that there is a positive twist to handling this new era of accountability. Because in my research, based on my research, we will grow, and that people criticizing our work will also be impacted positively, positively by our responses to their criticism. Do you agree with that? Yes. So if we can handle, if we can handle those negative comments properly those resisting our work uh, those resisting our practices will respect us highly and may find themselves coming to us for assistance or advice that's it yes before your classmates ask questions but I want you to give first the gist of the story of your report I want you to summarize everything because as what I observed, maybe there are times that you also keep on reading, but you, you should not read. You do your best to give your report without reading, but I also, I understand that, but you should not be, you should not do that. But in a summary of your report, just try your best to share everything about the strategies, to handle criticism successfully in your own words based on what you have researched on, on that in the internet. Okay, sir. All of these strategies to handle uh, how to handle criticism successfully is very important. It's because the bottom line is as what I as what I keep on uh, as what I keep on saying that there is a positive twist because those people who keep on criticizing with our work will also be impacted positively, more positive vibes. Because we will, as future educators, it is very expected that we will, what do you call this one? We will get more or plenty of responsibilities, or ever growing responsibilities. So, as a result, we will all experience an increase in criticism. So, through these strategies, it's, it's, it's very important that we know all of this so that we can uh, we will know how to handle this such or how to handle those those positive or it's either negative comments as speech educators. Anyone wants to Questions? May, may we start calling the attention of your classmates to try to raise questions? At least two questions, then 
May I also ask our our what? Our students from the other classes of mine to ask also questions at least two before we continue asking questions for for I think when next meeting I think yes. Monday. on Monday. okay Friday no it is today uh, today Thursday so it should be on no class on Friday okay no class on Friday so it should be on Monday okay there is a continuation of the report and expect that your classmates and our guests will also ask questions but I only entertain two questions from your classmates and two questions Sir, from our guests. Of course, expect that the questions should be relevant to your topic, if possible. If there is maybe something that there is a connection to the other part, maybe not too close with your report, with your topic, try to answer, try your best to answer the, the question. Okay, Juni, do you have, yes, very good. Only two questions before we dismiss the class. From the classmates first. As what I've learned, uh, there are two kinds of criticism of what you said earlier. Positive or negative or the destructive or the constructive criticism. How will you distinguish constructive criticism from destructive criticism? And um, how can you find if the if the criticism is constructive and or destructive and can you say that both of these criticism constructive and destructive can make you uh, make you successful someday or okay I got, I got your question from constructive criticism from the word construct it is it, it, it is intended to improve or it is intended what they call this one. It is intended to improve or to have the uh, to have a critic based on what you have, based on what you have. Oh, this one. Constructive criticism based on what you have rendered or or that certain or that particular thing. It is help. Uh, it, it is. It can help us to improve in such a way. And then destructive criticism from the word disrupt. It can it can destroy or ruin, but in a sense, there there that destructive criticism can help us. That it can that it can help us in our life or in ourselves to develop what are the lapses or what are the what are the lackings that we have. That's it. And then again, may beg your pardon. That's what you observed. Can you say that? Can you say that? I can find it. It can, it, it can improve me. Yes, of course. Through that constructive or destructive criticism, both both criticisms can help us. It's either it's either bad or good, or good or bad. Are you contented with the answer of the reporter, or you can also add if you have any idea about that topic and also the idea related to your question. None. Okay, another question from the class. Yes, Juni. Okay, Juni. Okay, last question. Uh, first, um, since we are talking about criticism, and then especially your topic is the word success, successful. So as a future educator, if someone will criticize you and which is, uh, if someone will criticize you and which is beyond to your principle, and it is really, it is totally destruct your reputation. How will you handle it? Is it, is it really, can you distinguish that you can handle that particular criticism successfully? Yes, of course. Because what I have, as what I have said, these strategies transcend professions and have worked for me time and time again. Be open and available to criticism. Develop a healthy view of criticism immediately. Control emotional responses. Be conscious that there are different types of criticisms. Always focus on the information or data. Maintain a reflective mindset. Decide to act. So as a summary, I think there it's if that criticism is negative, it's and it's beyond on my principle. 
So I didn't care. But in a sense, also, in a sense, also that through the, through the uh, through that negative comments, I can also use that in my what the all this one in my future or in my if I am going to render such thing. That's it. Okay, questions from our guest. Yes, Pony. Larry will explain. Strategy is handled the system successfully. So, is there an involvement of profanity in the world of criticism about the new report? Can you please speak it clearly? Okay, very well said. Very, very well explained. No. Strategy is to handle criticism successfully. So is there an involvement of profanity in the world of criticism? Excuse me, honestly, I don't really understand the word profanity. Will you please? Okay, profanity well, is a negative comment or bad comments that so, are not acceptable yeah, so, in our society. So your question is, is there an involvement yes. in profanity? What is there an involvement of profanity in the world of criticism? Well, of course, there is an involvement because we are in a tough world, we are in a tough and competitive career. So it's very inevitable that there is an involvement of that uh, profanity that you said. That's it. Last question. Sagales, you're the last, yes, um, the last for, one. Um, it's actually a follow-up follow-up question from all the questions that have, that have been raised. But before I, uh, a while ago, you said a statement that I said no to it because um, uh, you mentioned that uh, if you were able to handle criticism successfully, then people will come at you and um, uh, will, yes. be, will, will, what was that, will Look, ask Look, come to our assistance or advice. Yes, come to your assistance or advice. Well, um, uh, because for me, in my own opinion, I don't think that if you're able to handle criticism successfully, you can never get the 100% um, trust of a person or even 100% of all the people in, in, in a forum. So um, that's why uh, I'm not quite uh, I'm not quite convinced on that. <laughs> but uh, with the follow-up question with that with what I had, um, you you gave us seven uh, strategies, which are very good. And uh, the third one is really the hardest, the first one, uh, because it involves emotional and psychological um, psychological approach on your part as the one criticized, right? So we are on the side of the one who is being criticized. So um, with all the questions that arise, that have been arised earlier, um, and uh, as what I have noticed on your app, on your app answers as well, um, you just refer to it uh, to the sixth strategy. So I need you to um, expound it more on the seventh strategy. So if you get negative criticism, if you get uh, profane, profane words from your students, and if you get um, destructive criticism, which are beyond your principles, how are you going to decide to act on that? Well, if the feedback is given to you in the first place, you will have the idea how to handle it. So, as I have said, take a higher road and reflect, and reflect, or maintain your app, reflect those criticisms, and be, we must be, we must be very, excuse me. You must be very, you must be very conscious to that. So, as what, as what you have said, uh, if if it is beyond my, on my principle, I know it is very hard. It's, it is very hard how to handle this seventh strategy. Yes, but I am really conscious. I am I am really aware. If I have, if I can get negative comments so I just lean into it I will never run from it so I will I will face it with an open heart and move forwards never backwards
the, the action that you're doing. Yes. Is there any specific um, uh, action that you have? I think it depends how are we going to act or how are we going to are we going to perform it or how are we going to execute it? Excuse me, sir, can I add to the design to add?